Yes? Oh, I'm sorry I didn't mean to disturb you, ma'am. Is Mrs. Linton in? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton? A caller for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary? Um, I heard you and your friends was around. I... Okay. Where's, um... Where's what's-his-name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you've been, <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Uh, okay. Listen, Arthur, I, I'm, uh, my family, I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie, at least compared to the rest of them. <laughs> He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart. Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians, that strange religious order. Good for him. They're quite mad, Arthur. They'll kill him. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay to ask me to help in saving your family. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to help me, but, but I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is it? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest. I just want him back. Arthur, if you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. You already owe me. Okay, fella.
Oh, <laughs> hey there. How's it going? Well, it ain't going at all. We're broke. We're about ready to call it quits, to be honest with you. Listen, I... I... I, I hate to ask, but, but uh, is there any way that you could help us get the supplies that we need to finish? All right, here you go. But you best not be playing me for a fool. Oh, I ain't, mister. I swear. Damn it, I was really hoping to get out of this. Looks like you're almost there. We might actually finish this thing. So, yeah. I'll be back later for what you owe me. I'll have it just as soon as we manage to sell this place off. Well, don't feel you have to hang around on my account. Looks like you're almost done. I sure hope so. God, I can't wait to get out of here. Yep. Time to go, boy. We can have some fun in the meantime. I, I disagree. I ain't gonna die poor. I know that. Good luck to you, Missy. 
What do you think about women, Mr. Arthur? I don't think there's much difference between women and men. Most of both are awful. But there's a few worth loving and dying for, I guess. If they'll let you. I knew you was a romantic, Mr. Morgan. I just knew it. The world is changing for women. <laughs> no, it ain't. The world a place for men to do what they want with us, and we try to survive. Only if you let it. You let them. I ran away from them boys. And joined these fine gentlemen? They're okay. <laughs> and we're gonna be okay. If you'd only see that. Ladies? Hey, Arthur. Hi there. Hi there. Hang in there. We're on the up. I know. I'm fine. I know things have been hard. Sure, Arthur. Gary. Hi there. Keeping out of mischief? Yes, unfortunately. All right. I'll leave you to it. All right, Arthur. Hi, Mary Beth. Hello. So, you ain't bored of this place yet? I guess not. All things considered, it ain't that bad. All right, Arthur. Ask some sheriff about a bounty. Shoot a godforsaken animal. I don't care. Do something. Thank you. We saw black water. There's Pinkertons everywhere. So no getting in? I don't think so. Not for now, anyway. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Thanks. Just what did you say to me? Well, I... I didn't do it. I heard that. Oh, heard what, you crazy fool? I heard everything you said. Get I your was head sleeping, out of the clouds. you lunatic! Don't make me angry. Oh, or what? Huh? You'll start howling at some other moon? Like... Like this one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> Delightful, Uncle. Well, he's cracked in the head, that one. You're not? All right, well, I should be getting on. Catch up with you later. Hey, Arthur! All right? Yes, Arthur? You really need to start helping out around here. I know. The lucky Dutch has a soft spot for you. I don't care. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> What did he say? 
Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rowing down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night? Not too guarded? It's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. You know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Dutch, Miss O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry, and there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Come on now, boy. Easy. Yep, I rode as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side, Arthur. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Micah knew. Drink some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. 
but I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Yeah! Good evening, sir. Good. Easy. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple of beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mikey... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, well, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> 
you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your mouth, mister. On me. Do I look like a Lenny to you? Lenny! Lenny? Go away, you drunk. Been looking all over for you, Lenny. Just go home, will you? Cheers. Not you again.
again. Every time. 